The Greens have led the public debate on climate change ever since the early 90s when we first called for a price on carbon. Now the government has adopted that with its emissions trading scheme and they've adopted quite a few of our other climate change policies as well. We've helped uh, stop New Zealand going into the Iraq war and buying too much into George Bush's war on terrorism. We've won freedom for Ahmad Zawi, accused of being a terrorist, and embarrassed the government when it refused to meet the Tibetan leader, the Dalai Lama. We've made sure that our children are prepared for the challenges that face them in the 21st century by making sure the government put $13 million into environmental education. We help to save the Overlander and Wellington trolley buses. We've pressured the government to buy back the rail track to electrify Auckland's rail network and we put pressure on the government to give top priority to public transport. Half a million New Zealanders can now put their petty convictions behind them, get on with their lives, get jobs, they no longer have to face discrimination because of clean slate legislation that we introduced to Parliament. Rod Donald's dream of a Bi Kiwi Made programme is helping to keep New Zealanders in work and in business. It's all good. Ten years ago we were on the brink of growing genetically engineered crops right here in New Zealand. But thanks to the Green Party, our farms and our environment are still GE free. The rare lowland rimu and beach forests of the west coast were saved from the sawmills because we were in Parliament to support the environmental movement. I've been leading the government's new energy efficiency and conservation strategy under the first legislation the Greens ever introduced to Parliament. That's going to mean warmer, drier homes, healthier kids, more efficient cars and less greenhouse emissions. Thanks to all the work we've done on Section 59 of the Crimes Act, children now have the same protection against violence as adults do. And as for Project Aqua, well that's dead in the water. 